A lot of people are talking about Jalen Hurts for good reason. Just went to the Super Bowl. People are really, really, really talking highly on Dak Prescott. And well, he did struggle last year. He's had a really good career so far. And people are praising Daniel Jones a lot as well for good reason. 15-5 interception ratio is a pretty good thing to have. And they just went to the playoffs and won a playoff game. But they're not talking about one Sam Howell. And I think he's going to have a really great season. And here's why I think so. There's many factors. But these are the main three factors I have for you in today's video. Hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, subscribe to the Protest Sports Network. And that's for the intro. Welcome back to PSN, a.k.a. the Protest Sports Network. It's your boy, Tone. And we're back with another video. If I can talk right to God, if I got to right now, God's opening doors and paving wonderful doors and paving wonderful pathways for all you wonderful people that are watching this video. In Jesus' almighty name, we pray. Amen. Today's video, man, we're going to bring you guys another one. This one's talking about one quarterback, Sam Howe, and why I think there are three reasons why he'll have a huge season in 2023 and why he is him and why he will, will emerge as a very sleeper quarterback in the NFC East as well as the NFC Conference. Let's start with first factor. Scott Turner is no longer the offensive coordinator. It's now Eric Bieniemy. I think he's going to bring a lot of the principles that Andy Reid gave to him while he was in uh, Kansas City with his tutelage. And he's going to bring a lot of those principles here to Washington, a very West Coast like offense, getting the ball out of Sam's hands very quickly and allow him to get to the ball to the receivers at a very quick rate, allowing the offensive line to not block for too long. Even when the plays are about more long developing, there'll be hard plash and fakes, allowing the linebackers to suck up and not be able to cover those seam routes, you know, skinny posts and things of that nature that are implemented into the West Coast offense. Number two, Sam is mobile and a lot more mobile than Carson Wentz and Taylor Heineke. Now, uh, Heineke was praised for his mobility, which is good, which is so. Uh, he's very mobile. He get out of there, run a little bit, but he didn't run a lot last year. He's kind of was very constricted to the pocket. Um, also Carson, Carson can barely run. Let's just call it what it is. I love Carson, but he's a criminal. So that mobility does help a lot, especially in the red zone with the zone reads and things of that nature. That allows him to have a run pass option, the RPOs, the zone reads running to the end zone. We saw versus Dallas when he ran the ball from the six yard line, got into the end zone, and really, really, really bullied. All those guys with his 5'10", very thick frame as a runner. Um, so that would definitely help him out a lot as well. And number three, where I think Sam Howell's going to have a huge season, is because the weapons he has around him. Uh, Terry McLaurin, of course, Jahan Dotson, <clears throat> Curtis Samuel. Also, a guy that I think is going to emerge, which I have a much more deep, detailed video about, Amani Rogers, uh, Cole Turner. I think it will be better this year because of the two of one Eric the enemy. Uh, Brian Robinson and Tony Gibson running the football. Our newest addition to the running back room and Chris Rodriguez Jr. Uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, Deami Brown is going to have a nice season as well with his old college buddy and Sam Howe. It's a lot of things that's going to kind of, a lot of factors that will help Sam Howe a lot as well. And a, and a bonus one I'll give you guys before I get out of here is the defense. I mean, the defense, when they play subpar quarterback specifically, not the Josh Allens, not the Mahomes, not even the Jalen Hurts of the world. But even though we had a really good game versus Jalen Hurts in the link last year, I believe when you play those, those Colt McCoys, <laughs> no offense to Colt McCoy, even a Mac Jones, guys of that ilk, there aren't top caliber starting quarterbacks, but they're either high end backups or really good starter. In Matt Jones, which I think he's a really good starter, the defense is going to be huge for Sam because they'll cause turnovers. And turnovers give him more opportunity to score points. And shorter fields will allow him to score points easier, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown. So those four factors, maybe the first brief and the honorable mention there, are the reason why I do think Sam Howell's going to have a huge year uh, this year. Uh, the Eric Bieniemy factor, the wide receivers and running backs around him, uh, the tight end position is still a little in flux. Logan's older now and come off an injury, which is not the best thing in the world. And Armani Rogers and Cole Turner are kind of unknowns. But I think those are guys that actually can break out this year with the correct tutelage. 
And also, like I said, because of the style of offense, they'll be running with Eric Bieniemy, which is the West Coast system, which allows them to get the ball out quicker and not be under pressure under siege for so long. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to the Protest Sports Network. Also, subscribe to the Life of Tone channel, which is down in the description down below. If you want vlogs, if you want story times, if you want reaction videos, if you want uh, DMV talks, all that type of stuff, DMV shorts, all that type of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the Life of Tone channel down below. And also, subscribe to all my bros down in the description as well, such as Jairus, Tim, Rio, Street Scores, uh, Corey from On the Warpath, so many guys, man, Ref the District. All those guys and my sponsor, Ball and Burning Podcast. All those guys will be down in the description down below. And go follow this decision on the daily on Instagram on the highest and fastest growing commanders uh, IG page I ever known of. So go ahead, go ahead and follow them on IG and I'll go show the guys some love over there at WHH on the daily. Till then, be easy, be safe, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'll catch you guys next video. Comment your thoughts down below on Sam Howe and let me know what you guys think about. Why, what my factors are, what are your factors down in the description down below. Tell them, be easy, be safe. I'll catch you next one. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend and attack the week hard and be grateful for another day, another week, and get your week attack going. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.